Hey tubers, let's set the range on this thing. Right yeah, I'm gonna do the voltage. They're all 3.9, but I'll do it again anyway. 39, 39, 39, 39, 39. And there goes that infernal beep again. 39 and 39. So she's all balanced up. I shall, and that's that's only been what about 24 hours, 25 hours. And this one was at 4.2, and this one was somewhat underneath that. So it's balanced out pretty quickly and little tiny wires, so it works well. So let's go get this installed, make some new cables, and um, see what this baby can do. Old well, tubers, I don't know well how how well you can see that. But there lies some fuck stupidity. You ready? <sighs> Just desoldering this on this side. Move this end. And just toasty fried a wire. Oh my god, that's dumb. Anyway, proceed on. Let's make some progress. That stinks. I'm gonna open this shit up. Okay, yeah, so cleaned up all my mess. Made a big mess of the cables, but interestingly, didn't blow any fuses. But then again, I guess that's not very heavy wire, so I've just messed, messed it all up. I've got to go through each pack now, and because the the um, the mounts are made so tight, so a nice tight fit, accurately, I guess you'd say. All these little feet. The little clips that join the, the two packs together need to be ripped off otherwise it doesn't fit and that two matter two millimeters matters for the fit and finish of it so got a few hundred of these to rip off quick teaser packs in just gotta wire her up This is not very polite. Some of them are a bit tight and a bit awkward. Some of them go in perfectly. But... There we go. So only one went in tight, so that's pretty good, pretty happy with that. A bit hard to see, but the top and bottom joints are all done now. Where is it? There we go. All buttoned up nice and tight. Now just got to put the positive and negative on. Okay tubers, so it's now a couple of days later since I started making this video. And this battery pack has been running for three days. I've just done a cell voltage on every single cell and they're all coming in at four, four volts. Um, what do we got? So 28.2 volts. I've just turned it up ever so slightly. I've turned it up by 0.2 of a volt. Um, still doing 43 amps, so she's not not at float yet. Um, I am going to move that pack up to there shortly. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to go through and redo all these bus bars again. So they all look consistent with all the rest of them and make it all look good and symmetrical. So it's causing a little bit of pressure with some of these fuses and um, connections. So if I, if I change those bus bars around and put these spacer blocks in, we're going to get rid of all those problems. G'day tubers, so that's a quick update for now. Fourth pack's in, running sweet. I think the other night I checked it at, um, when I actually installed the battery, the, the, the fourth battery pack, and all the batteries were at 3.9 volts. Woke up in the morning, 14 or so hours later, took out six kilowatts out of the battery, six six point two kilowatts out of the battery, and the battery, each cell, had only dropped by point one one of a volt how cool is that that brings me to another thing where when you're starting this project i think you need the the highest the higher capacity cells which is what i've done 
Um, I haven't used any under 2000 milliamp hours. I think the large majority of them are over 2100 milliamp hours. The only smaller, the smaller ones are the blue ones around the outside because I just needed it for numbers. Um, but it leads, it leads me to the question, once you go this big and once you draw so little out of the battery pack, I wonder if it really matters if you use 1500 milliamp hour batteries. That's a test I'll do in the future. If I don't, if I don't get rid of all these cells just here, those ones, they're all 1500, 1600, 1700, 1800, and 2000 milliamp hours. So I was considering doing a little test and seeing whether it really does matter or not. Um, because my first pack that I did is really good and the last pack I did is probably the worst. And they're all exactly the same voltage. They're charging, they're discharging, they're all going really, really well. So I'm, I'm absolutely stoked to death with how well it's working. Um, talking about how well it's working, how good, how good is that 30 kilowatt, 33 kilowatt hour one that Jahu had up on his channel? Holy heck, that's a lot of power. That's at 48 volt too, so that's, that's 66 kilowatt hours at 24 volts. I think that's how you work it out, but that's huge. That's, that's friggin' awesome stuff. He really needs some more panels on that to charge that many batteries, especially if he didn't really depleted them but good stuff really good stuff i love it i love seeing how the innovation that's come into this and how well you can do it and how differently you can do it and how cheaply you can do it i mean i haven't done it cheaply but i i hope i i, I believe i've done it well so i i'm not resting on my laurels that pack there that blue i'm trying to point to it and it doesn't really work that well is my 28th pack so i'm starting my fifth battery onwards and upwards i'm going to get six and then we're going to see how we go now 48 volt everyone keeps asking me a couple of things lately 48 volt when's 48 volt going to happen well 48 is going to happen eventually um i've got to buy some inverters i think i'm going to go two second hand inverters if um my mate wants to sell me his two and i actually want to buy them um, I can get two 48 volt inverters for a reasonable price. Um, he's looked after me in the past and never never put me wrong, so I'm keen to go ahead with that. So that'll give me 8,000 watts of power, which is going to be cool as all get out. And uh, my old PIP 2424 HS has been sold, or at least pending, to my metal worker, that's the guy that's help, helped me make all my mounts and stuff. And my PIP 2424 MSX is heading south and i read this off the computer screen mark brian i don't know if i should say his last name so i'm going to say mark has bought uh my other pip so money's almost in place um it's got all the changing of hands i guess and we're going to be good for 48 volt which is gonna be cool if you've got any questions ask them below if you've liked my videos please like because it does help the channel um, I make a little bit extra money when you like, share, subscribe and all that good stuff. I guess that's why everybody says it on every video. I'll see you in the next one guys. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks for watching. It is appreciated.